Welcome to our lesson 3 on uniform circular motion. I'm going today to try and show you how we can get angular acceleration. Angular acceleration is the rate of change of angular velocity. Basically, the way we say acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. But I want us to go deeper instead of memorizing. Your knowledge of vector will be very important. Now, I have this diagram here. Let us consider a body moving from A to B. It is circular motion, so it is along the circle. But before we move on, at A, the person will be facing this direction, which is tangential, is a tangent at point A. When he goes round and he reaches point B, he will face him that direction, that direction. So two things, or three things, we have to get right. In moving from A along the circle to B, there is angular displacement. Do you remember? Angular displacement. Two, speed at A is the same as speed at B. Remember? Equal uh, distance interval in equal time. Remember that? So that figure, 10 over 2, 5. Here, it is maybe 20 over 4. It will still be 5. So speed at A is the same as speed at B. However, the velocities are different because there is change in direction. Velocity at A is different from B due to direction change. Due to direction change. That should help you. Now, we want to take this here. But I want you to understand the little things that make you not get it right. We have this diagram. Let me put here point Q. Okay? So, a radius and a tangent meet at 90. Even this radius and tangent at 90. So, already 90 and 90 here is 180. And therefore, these two must give me 180. Okay? Do you get that? These two must give me 180. The dot and the theta must give me 180. Therefore, this is the same as theta. Because this is the same as 180 minus theta. <laughs> okay? This is 180 minus theta. You get this. 180 minus theta. So if this is 180 minus theta, this is dot is equal to 180 minus theta. So angles on a straight line, it will be 180 minus theta. If I put plus theta, you will get 180. Okay? Yeah. So this is angle theta. Now, extract this. This here is velocity. One. The direction of velocity. So we call it velocity 1 at point A. It is facing that way. At point Q, velocity 2 is that way. You can see when you stop at B, you will be facing that direction. Eh? So I'm doing it in vector form. Okay? Do you remember? Equivalent vectors. 
So at Q, I can get that direction. I have not changed. At Q, V2 is that way, and V1 is that way. And what is the aim of this lesson? To find out the change in velocity. Now, in vectors, we are looking for change from V1 to V2. V1 to V2. So what do I do? Look at this now. Very important. Okay? That from, I can give some letters. Let me give letters letter P and this is letter S. So, P vector PS using vectors. This is the key thing. Using vectors. PS is equal to PQ plus QS using vectors. Okay? But PS is what we call change in velocity. Okay? PS is called change in velocity. Abbreviated delta V. Okay? Okay? Therefore, Therefore, change in velocity is equal to PQ will be minus V1 plus V2. PQ minus V then plus V2, which is the same as V2 minus V1. Look at that change now. This is coming out clearly, change in velocity. You see, velocity 2 minus V1, where I reached minus where I came from. See, like V minus U. Okay? That should be very clear now. It's like V minus U. Initial velocity, V1. Final velocity, V2. So, change in velocity is V minus U. Final velocity minus initial velocity here. Okay? That is what we call change in velocity. Right? Then, using similarity. Using similarity in triangles. Uh, we can say A, O, B, and and p q s i'm using what similarity okay i'm using similarity so i can you can check this you can even do this there is no harm here uh, you can do this you can do that to make you understand so i can say ps ps over a b is equal to is equal to i can talk of p q over a o which is equal to q s over b O. Okay, but but P Q over A O is equal to Q S over B O, which we call basically V over R. 
they are basically v over r this is our r these are basically velocities okay so can we focus again down this is going to be very interesting so this i can say delta v ps is delta v ps is here over ab is equal to v over r okay but ab this ab is equal to arc ab they are more or less the same they are more or less the same. A, B as a, 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 a what? A chord is approximately a length A, B. Okay? A length A, B now is S. A length A, B is S. This is the same as S. Distance is speed times time which is equal to velocity times delta t speed is distance over time therefore distance is speed times time okay it's going to be very interesting then i focus down i hope my camera will be stable there yes therefore we say therefore delta v over v times delta t v times delta t read it as speed times time gives you distance that is equal to v over r which implies delta v is equal to multiply this by that over t is equal to v squared over r which implies acceleration is v squared over r okay i will repeat i'll repeat from here PS over AB. We are trying to use similarity using triangles. PS over AB is equal to PQ over R. I mean PQ over AO. Okay, you can't see that now. You can uh, always draw and be following my teaching. PQ over AO, which is equal to QS over BO. But AO and BO, they are radii. PQ and QS are basically velocity. Basically, velocity. The scalar aspect. The scalar aspect. Okay? So, PQ over AO is equal to QS over BO, which is basically V over R. This is scalar aspect. Therefore, I come and substitute delta V. PS from P to S is basically known as change in velocity. We are looking for that. Did you see? V2 minus V1, change in velocity. So I put PS is delta V, change in velocity over AB, here is equal to instead of this or this I use V over R but AB this chord you are seeing is approximately an arc length and the arc length is S and S is equal to speed or velocity times time okay there was 
there was time elapse time elapsed in moving from a to b that is what we say now change in time there existed change in time but basically when you know speed is distance over time therefore distance is speed times time but the language we are using here is velocity times time so this is what i put in place of a b here so in place of a b is v times delta t is equal to v over r multiply both side by v this v will cancel this will be v square divided by r now change in velocity over change in time this over this is what we call acceleration and you get that i want you to go through it i want you to go through it this always check go through it listening first and then do these two diagrams and try to reason so that you don't memorize if you memorize you will get stuck okay this is how we get angular acceleration so the next lesson we shall be seeing another form of angular acceleration which you can do because you have v is equal to r omega you should be able to tell me the second formula for angular acceleration v is equal to r omega you remember that v is equal to r omega so what about substituting v and you put r omega in bracket squared when you divide by r that gives you a second formula for angular acceleration so next time we are going to see what is centripetal force till then boy get some pen don't just go to the, the the youtube you have no pen you have no paper no get a pen get a paper always note important points after that sit this diagram is simple i don't want you to follow the one in the book the one in the book will confuse you look at mine the way i have drawn the way i have borrowed a leaf from mathematics you will get things flowing this dot i've told you is here is 180 minus theta if this is theta and this is theta this is a quadrilateral o a q b is a quadrilateral okay are we together yes if you borrow some mathematics in form 2 about quadrilaterals and angles interior angles you are perfect you will be able to prove that this is really theta don't just cram let it come naturally I want you to give friends tips, teach other friends. This is unique, you can't get it. Okay? Get other friends, tell them, subscribe so that you get the next lesson. There are very many lessons now, almost going to 70, whether form 1, form 2, form 3, form 4. For this period, I'm concentrating on physics because I have pushed maths enough. I'll do some push in physics. Subscribe, you get more. Till then, bye.